What is the best technique you've come up with for learning lines? You start, you have your breakfast at nine, you go into the living room at 10, you start with the first line, you say it 18 times, then you attach it to the second line and you say both of them 19 times and you continue through the play, then you stop at one o'clock and you have your lunch, and then you resume at two, and by four o'clock your brain goes, and then you can have the rest of the day off. And you do that without the phone on, and you do that for a week. And every morning you review what you did yesterday. So you go from the very first line, and say you got halfway through the first act, and probably not a third of the way through the first act, you do that bit that you're supposed to know before you start on the fresh line for today. That's all I know. You just sit there and you bang it, bang it out until such time as it seems to stick. Is, is your process, do you find it easy or difficult to get I, the lines learned? I find it, uh, this makes me superstitious, I'm touching the wood, I mean it's pathetic but I am. Um, uh, I do find, I, I found, it used to be my party trick when I was young, I could, I could, I could learn large numbers of lines quite quickly. Um, the other thing that I would say is that I learn everything before I start rehearsals. So I know every single line before I walk in. The, I, there is, a, there is a, a sort of, there was, in England there was a sort of taboo about that, which was actually just a way of, I think, of avoiding homework, which is that, you know, you, you, would, uh, be, you would become imprisoned by intonations which, and it was therefore a discourtesy to your colleagues. It's nonsense. You never get imprisoned by intonations. It's nothing approaching a discourtesy to your colleagues. It's just not doing your homework. Uh, it's best to get, you can't rehearse with a, you can't, you know, as directors have said to me, you can't rehearse with a book in your hand. The book in your hand is to stop you, is to delay the moment when you, are, you, you have to act. Everybody wants to put off the moment where they have to act. So holding the book is a, is a very good way of doing that. So because I'm so self-conscious about such things, and because I spent so many tortuous hours in rehearsal rooms, uh, kind of um, fearful of making the first real move, I figured out that I'd feel less terrible for less time if I jumped in quick, do you know what I mean? So if you go in quick, if you get rid of the book and just go, all right, we'll make the first decision now, and then everything lightened up. Whereas, or you can put it off and put it off and put it off and just suffer for longer. So I just did it in a, in, in, in a way of suffering for less time. Has it become an easy process for you now that you've figured out a way to do it? What to? To learn the lines. Learning the lines is never, it's not the hard part. People always think it's the hard part. Anyone can learn lines. Actors haven't got special brains or anything. Anyone in the world can learn any kind of lines. If you had to, you would do it. You just sit there long enough and they'll, you will know the lines. It's not the hard part. Everybody, it appears to be the hard part. It's not. The hard part comes after you've learned the lines, in right. my view.